Great, great city, love it. So many tours walking around, it's amazing. Uh, I still haven't met uh, any Latino tourists though. I haven't. Uh, you know why? Because Latinos, when we travel to a different country, we stay. <laughs> I'm from Venezuela, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool, my family came. All right, thank you. <laughs> I am, I'm from Venezuela, but I've been living most of my life in the US, and I know I still sound like Fez from that 70s show. <laughs> Can't get rid of the accent, you know? I actually started taking an American accent class just to sound more American. And in the class, they tell me that I have to enunciate every word. So the other day, I got pulled over by a cop. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use my American accent. So I'm sitting in my car, the cop comes over to my window, and I'm like, hello, officer. Hey, what well, seems to be the problem? <laughs> the cop was like, uh, your voice. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I'm talking like any American citizen. <laughs> and he deported me. That's why I'm here with you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, I had to learn English when I moved to the US. Uh, English is a very hard language to learn. Too many words sound similar. Like when I was growing up, I couldn't say the word beach. Couldn't say that word. <laughs> and I had to do a presentation in middle school about Venezuela, you know, so I start. There's a big map of Venezuela behind me, and I go, uh, the best thing about Venezuela are the bitches. <laughs> there are very big bitches in Venezuela. And there are some dirty bitches too, and I don't like that. <laughs> I got suspended for three days. My teacher took me out of the classroom. She's like, ah, look, Francisco, I don't know how to do things in Mexico. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm from Venezuela. That's the same thing for us. <laughs> uh, is this your girlfriend, sir, or wife? How long have you guys been going out? What? You have no idea? OK, thank you. <laughs> proves my point exactly. Guys, we have no idea how long we've been in a relationship. We don't. You know why? Because ladies, you're the ones who keep track of a relationship. Because you're the ones, you start the relationship, but you never tell us. <laughs> you just do it, and we have to figure it out. <laughs> I figured it out. I think ladies, you start the relationship when we say hi to you for the first time. We're like, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> he said hi to me on the 21st. <laughs> Let the countdown begin. A lot of my friends are getting married. Uh, they love to have destination weddings, which I find that's a little trick that wedding people do, right? They invite a lot of people so they don't go, right? <laughs> Let's invite 500 people to Uganda. <laughs> I don't mind going to Uganda, but they still want you to bring a gift. If I'm going to Uganda, uh, the gift is me. Right, $4,000, and you still want bathroom towels? They're coming from the hotel room. <laughs> Thank you, Montreal, merci.